Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to episode 28 of Sandwalls, the Armored Art. We're going to go today on our mission for more roads in the desert, and obviously there's a couple of goblins who still haven't heard the message that it's just a very, very lethal to get close to this fort. Well, let's see and make sure that they will hear that message too, but don't you dare to litter any debris on the construction site. Thank you. Well, so today I want to expand on that road system of mine. And I also want to prepare the underground road system as well, because these things are just really, really important. Because I don't want to have my road look all the same everywhere. I figured that we are going to have a little bit of an uh, of a curvature here and I, I really don't know how this is going to look like at the end of the day because we are going to have to do the um, border stones and all here too but I figured that I want this road to go south to my friends from the humans you see and let's uh, just draw another set that meanders a little bit through here. Oh, there's a tree. It will be not much longer, I promise. And, uh, well, oh, no. we probably need to cut some trees before we get there. Okay, so let's hope that this will work as intended. This will be quite a uh, magnanimous project. I really noticed only recently that we actually are getting ourselves into quite a uh, big business here. So we're going to lace that madness now with a order of claystone. And we obviously need to get rid of a couple of trees that are in our way. Well, I know one woodcutter who will be very, very glad. And today I will be not making a main protagonist bedroom for once. Kind of like burned myself out a little bit on that project and I don't want to be, I don't want them to be a chore. They need to be a fulfilling thing, you see. Surely understand that. So, well, that uh, looks really weird, but whatever. So that's been the here and we struck calcite yeah so uh, we had a uh, recently a, a run in with the local old people when we were well, taking out some people that were stuck on a tree the FPS of our fortress hasn't increased on that quite the opposite is the case we actually lost FPS ever since I don't know, I would assume that it's the many uh, building um, jobs that we got right now, but it is, in all seriousness, really hard to tell. We'll see about that. While we're talking about all these things, I started to excavate a huge draining chamber, which happens to yield a lot of tetrahedrite for the fort as well, so I think this is just a really, well... An efficient situation for everybody here, except for the poor souls that drowned in the previous episode. I feel really bad for them, because I, I sent them down there. I got impatient, instead of just waiting for the old people to go out. I gave them the command to dive down on the on the mush tree. And that was a death, death sentence. I still feel bad about that. Anyways, let's uh, not ponder further about that. Let's think forward instead. So, this has been finished too. So, anybody stuck up here? No? Wonderful. I'm proud of you. Okay, so let's see. I need to cut some trees in the vicinity here. And I already got some plans for the underground road part. Going to try and work around with that today as well. So let's kill off some trees here. One group of citizens is stranded. Ah, yeah, just when I, just when I thought you guys would. Ah, uh, yeah. Probably wanted to hold that boulder. 
uh, block tells you. So you can't make up these things. We are going to deconstruct that piece of wall here so that this poor... Wait a sec. There's nobody stranded here anymore. Lies. Okay, beautiful. Seems like he jumped off the ledge after all. Been a brave jurist and just took the fall. So, let's see. Road-wise, we're going to have one road that shall lead to the southern areas where our friends, the humans, dwell. I think we're going to make a road into the eastern direction as well, because I probably want to build a fort myself in that direction. And there will be, of course, a road to the north that lead to the old fort of Gleam Mirrors. Now, the... Holy... They're still chasing the gob. Oh gosh, good thing that I, uh, that I noticed that the barracks was empty. Jeez. All right. Weird things don't stop today. Well, I really hope that this water here will not be any issue in the long run. Hmm. I mean, we could, we could just store it in there. But it would stop us from putting a wall and uh, everything in place there. I'm really tempted. You know, there's never anything wrong with a room full of water that you have stored and ready to use. Never anything wrong with that, believe me. All right, so we can now lace the clay stone. So, here we go. Whoa, that's walls. So let's see, um, moss remove. Let's see if that works. No. No. Ah, uh, that's not what I think it was. So, oh, wait a sec, effect planned. There was... Buildings effect planned here. No, it doesn't really work that like that. Ah, oh, too bad. Or wait a sec, constructions. Ha! Beautiful. It might have taken me a moment to understand what I'm doing there, but it also was worth investing that moment. So let's make sure we are not accidentally drawing a wall next out of claystone, though. That would be... I can already see myself having issues with that, because of that. So let's, uh... Work... Ahead of that. Okay, so I'd say from that point on, we're just going to draw that thing straight up that, uh, down there. I know... Realistically, this wouldn't run like that, but... I don't want to bother myself too much with realism. This road is already weird enough as it is. Okay, let's uh, just finish the last few things. What's that alert? A gremlin. Oh, well, I don't care about the gremlin. So, and another road that way. So, here goes more claystone. It's just a little bit sad that, um... No, uh, limestone. It's just a little bit sad that, um... These roads are, are not really used. These are role-playing roads. They're, uh... People in these games are really not good at utilizing the roads. Obviously, they don't really give you any uh, real bonuses, I assume. It's at least what I think is the reason that why the game doesn't bother promoting them stronger. Anyways, I think there, there will be a limit soon. Wow, that's one big fat quarry. I mean, that's all the limestone that this fort possibly will need. Ever? But I mean, I don't mind. Okay, so let's get back to business. 
and talk about the underground road system. So I figured that underground roads should be definitely leading into the fort, into safety. Therefore, we are going to go and have a bridge, a drawbridge at the entrance of the city. Like here. We're going to make the drawbridge, of course, out of something fancy like steel. Or, well, maybe no copper. Wait a sec. You are lying. These materials are there. Search bars. Yeah, copper. I feel like copper fits quite decently to the uh, looks of the fort itself. It's a it's an entirely aesthetic decision. There's uh, no valid no no deeper uh, thing behind that. We are going to put the lever for this into the barracks. So there's uh, with a high likelihood always a soldier in the vicinity. And then we are going to remove a bit of flooring here. The basic idea is simple. These two towers that you see here, they'll have they'll be the entrances to the underground road system. And they are we're we're going to remove the cage traps one day, or maybe we'll put another um now nah, we're not going to remove the cage traps, I actually feel quite well about them. No, we're going to put down another bridge here. The second bridge. To seal off the inner city. So we have basically an airlock here. Which can be sometimes really, really good. I mean, sadly, Dwarf Fortress doesn't have too many challenges that require these strategies. Wow, look at it. It has a metal texture. Didn't even know. But, uh, you know, I like to roleplay, so we're going to do that. Here we go. So there's going to be two entrances. But I'd say they are going to connect to the same road. A human caravan has arrived. Brilliant. Oh, well, there's still staircase to, uh, digging. So here goes. These are, of course, only the entry points. So we're going to draw the road. Oh, yeah, these guys naming every weapon that they can get so there's going to be one ro uh, one road leading towards there one road leading towards there and another road leading towards there and those gosh darn humans should be really really grateful that we are considering them important enough to dig them a road underground as well. That's how much we value our friends. And Godin got re-elected. So, let's see. Um, how is the life of one militia captain? Our ranged uh, master, by now a professional archer, expert Dwarf. So, he really got himself somewhere. Memory-wise, let's see. Dejected dwelling upon wearing old clothing. So, old clothing becomes obviously a a problem here in the fort. Yeah, pretty, pretty much everything from his clothing is totally worn off. Well. It is both his uniform and his regular day-by-day -day clothing that is uh, victim of this curse. So, well, let's see. It's hard to tell, but uh, maybe these archers will pick up some fresh clothing if I order them to do like this. So, good thing that we uh, checked the life of... Uh, of Ubash for a second. So, self-pity. 
Uvash doesn't seem to have the best life. So relation-wise, well, there are only a couple of people. It is almost as if he has no relationship to the people around him. It's a little bit sad. So... I'm feeling kind of sorry for him, but uh, I think this um, should have fixed a few things, if possible. Well, it's kind of odd that they're not picking up new things. Maybe we need to order a new, a new suit of uh, gear here. Yeah. A honey badger is in combat. Well, the honey badger's uh, days of strife are over, I'd say. We took good care of the honey badger. Oh, wait. Okay. All right. So the human Lieutenant Nilti has shared many tales from beyond sand walls. All right. Of course, we're going to need a bit of... Uh, stone for those roads down there as well can't have what these uh, things without the other so let's see what the trader has to has to trade i'm pretty much afraid that it'll be just yet another caravan comprised of wood what i expect to see now so let's check what zaxul will find here Yep, there's meat, there's fish, there's plants, and that's about it. Just like I thought. Sadly, they think Sandwalls has everything it's need it needs. Well, to some degree, I mean, I'm feeling honored about this sentiment, but I also felt like it would have been great if we'd had some new things that we haven't had yet. Anyways, time to set up a couple of uh, extravagant... Uh, Extravagant, that's the word, that's the spelling. Uh, yeah, never mind. It's the way how I wanted to say it. I wanted some fancy, cool, crafted worst workshops made out of steel. So, it's uh, just we can't afford. So, we're making that happen. Okay, the other expeditionary goods will be stored or made on other. Um, locations so i made up my mind a little bit a couple of things that i realized would be really really necessary anvils obviously <clears throat> we we totally want anvils so these will be definitely stored there i realized also that wheelbarrows are our thing as are um step ladders these are sadly among other large tools, and that is also the um, altars and bookcases, so that'll conflict a little bit with that workspace area. So I'm leaving that for the time being off. We are just going to make them. So other things that your, um, your new settlements always will need are bags. We're already producing bags, so that is okay. I don't know if we have already backpacks, but I highly doubt it. I realize backpacks are, are something we should also do. And alongside with that, now let's go for iron battle axes and iron pits. We are not going with any low quality things. We are also not going to go for steel, but uh, I beg thee forgiveness. So. It's, um, uh, we're getting closer to the finale of the series. I, I feel a little bit sad about that, in all honesty. But I also feel proud of what we, what we got done so far. It's, uh, oh, sheesh, we need to construct a staircase out of claystone here. It looks so ruddy otherwise. I'm using boulders for a, uh, that one occasion because I want to get this eyesore out of my uh, out of my way <laughs> okay yeah so the entire fortress is working on new blocks these days interestingly enough mudstone blocks are also on high demand huh well 
we probably built some walls and stuff. That's okay. Good. So the new locks here are being made. And we are going to link that lever here. And we're going to build ourselves, of course, another lever to link the inner side of the airlock as well. Everything else would be silly. Okay, I'm not expecting to find anything here while we're digging out these things. Anything but work, because this place obviously needs some flooring as well. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it just doesn't stop, right? So we're going to go and get ourselves some further stoneworkers workshops down here. Yeah that frequency it is just we have such a tremendous hunger of blocks all right it is maybe not necessary maybe they're not going to use all of these but i don't care it looks cool if anything if not anything it'll at least look cool all right so we have finally so much decoration in our um, possession that i feel like it's uh time to put some nice looking things into our tavern. I figured that a bookcase or two might not hurt. At the end of the day, nothing forbids you from reading something in the tavern. And we're going to bring up a couple of tables. I'm well aware of the fact that you don't need them in a tavern, but I also figured that it'd be really, really boring if we'd not have these at least for the sake of uh, a visual appeal it's just uh, it looks nice that's what i'm trying to get to all right so the roads of sand walls are already pretty well defined it's going to take a while until we have the uh, limestone cut but it is okay oh well to add to add into the burden of all this there's also a lot of clay stone that needs to be cut but all in all this fort is well how to say it i don't like to say it but it is uh getting done that's what it is it's getting ready to be done i'm feeling a little bit sad about that because i really really grew close to this place but one problem that I foresee is that sand walls cannot really grow any further. There is, uh, There has been no assignment to a baron yet, and I assume this is because our civilization is right now too small for that. So, yeah. I will build this fort until we have the roads done, and let's see, we are going to put more and more items on our expeditionary tab for the sake of production so we can roleplay that our embarkation goods come from sand walls. But apart from that, I don't really see what we need to do here still. There will be no uh, king moving in, because obviously we're somehow not able to become a barony. I don't know how so, but it is what it is. So our entire noble people's wing is just, well, it is ready. As you see here, we could really host a lot of nobility with that one. It's neat three-room apartment suites, and they all have a lot of room and a lot of uh, potential to be upgraded. And up here, I kind of like reserved that entire floor to the king or the queen who isn't around. But I mean, maybe this is a nice testament to the stories of sand walls that the upper floors the ones for the nobility are still empty. We are preparing for expansion. We don't have the noble people yet, but we have the room for them. I really find this is a really nice uh, sentiment for the story. We should, though, really, if the next once the next siege hits town, consider sending our archers and see what they can do. I really am curious to see what that'll do. Anyways, here we go. There's long tunnels connecting to the rest of the world. The only thing I dislike now is how this all looks. I just realized that 
we probably need to shave off the entire inner uh, inner walls like that and rebuild them with something proper. Yeah, this looks really bad. <laughs> In all honesty, this looks terrible. I don't like how it looks. Not at all. Oh dear, that is going to be quite an effort, but it's okay. What's the what's the life of a dwarf without some effort? Got ourselves also the caverns back open, so we should and could grab that lumber from I don't know how many years, it's still lying around. I forbid it back in the day when Sithutha was uh, roaming around and uh, wreaking havoc upon the caverns. Huh. We're definitely going to do that. I found something. So, let's use a neat little trick. I want to know what's inside the box here. Although, well, <laughs> it's a tragedy. We're uh, completely unable to unearth the treasures inside there, except for the middle part, because if we'd be digging out any of these uh, surrounding walls, the water would flood this place and the star sapphire and the yellow gems, yellow uh, diamond would be lost forever. Speaking about lost forever, these logs are not lost anymore. Jeez, they're uh, they're going after it like uh, they had no other goal in life. It is as if all these viewers were sitting in their citadel and waiting for the day that finally we can grab that timber. Well, whatever it might be, I'm not ungrateful. So, and uh, let's continue refining the Temple of Whiskey. I'm not making jokes here, that's the name of the deity. It's a human deity. Who would have thought that the humans worship a deity named Whiskey? I'm not at all surprised. Not at all. Have you ever checked out how complicated it is to make stuff like Whiskey? You didn't? I can recommend. It's darned complicated, I think. So it's only fitting that it's even a god here. Well, jokes aside, this place is running wild. And the only thing that I haven't uh, made up my mind yet is what kind of uh, stone and flooring we're going to use for the subterrain areas here. So let's see what we got in store. So, there is our good old friend Gabro. You know what? We're going to take that. Mr. Gabro is there for us. He's available, he's gray, and we can mass produce Mr. Gabro. That's what we're going to do. Are you that bad at mining? Tozit, novice miner, rusty. Yes, you are. Sheesh. How is that even possible? Toes it. Tell me. So, yeah. Technically, of course, these roads do not uh, really connect to anything. Because there is a, a lack of, um, of connection. So, to make them less gimmicky. We're going to make a, a bit of a... Of a trick. Here we go. So at the end of the road here, there will be a, uh, a a hatch that we can open and close, and we're going to hold it like that at all the ends of the road. So there will be here also one staircase. But uh, I'll, I want to wait until these uh, are completed and all before I make the stairs. Just realize that since these are all not truly connected to the surface, it would be a bit lame 
if I'd be using them like uh yeah look that is a uh that is a uh over crossing on the other map not like this we can't do better than that all right no oh, sheesh that's going to take so many blocks but well it is what you got to suffer through if you want to have a decent looking base. Otherwise, this is, uh, well, oh, sh I thought the time was running the whole time. I hate it when that happens. Don't you? <laughs> All right. So let's drop down the Gabbro floorboards and then we can call it today today. So my dear friends, I'm going to lay down the gabbro for this and I want to say thanks for watching. I hope you all had a jolly good time. I certainly did and I'm really really eager to continue. The story of Sandwalls, I guess it will be it won't be going that terribly much longer. We are going to open up into a new Ford anytime soonish i really can't tell how long we'll going to take there's still a couple of things that need to get addressed so the work ain't done yet but uh it's clearly on the horizon that we're getting this for done anytime soon and i can't wait to see how she will look once she is ready now then ooh, what is that oh it's an export band for a moment I was afraid that we'd be building new toy hammers. Anyways, thanks for watching, drop me your comments down below, leave me a thumbs up if you considered this good entertainment, and of course check out the subscription uh, button, and of course the description box, my mind was getting ahead of myself, is full with links for Dwarf Fortress, you can find my Discord server there, and you can also find support links, there's Patreon, Paypal, or buy me a coffee, depending on what you like, I'd be really happy if you gave them a look. I love what I'm doing here, but I also love paying paying my bills. I'm weird like that. Anyways, thanks for supporting the channel if you do, and thanks for watching this video. If you have watched until this very point, that means you've been through all the ads, all everything. That's really nice of you. I like you for doing that. So, have a wonderful day, and see you soon. Bye-bye.